In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NBA games happening on April 19, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets. As we provide these videos on a daily basis, I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three NBA games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from 2 betting picks a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Atlanta Hawks vs Miami Heat The Miami Heat play host to the Atlanta Braves in Game 2 of the Eastern Conference first round from FTX Arena. The Heat dominated in the opener on Sunday, coming away with the 115-91 win and setting the tone for the series that they won't be stopped as the tournament's one seed. On the season, it isn't a surprise that the Heat dominated overall, winning three of four games, including both meetings at home. Now that they welcome Atlanta back for Game 2 and Atlanta plays another road game after last week's play-in tournament, it seems like Miami is well equipped to set themselves up for a 2-0 series lead. The Hawks will be without Lou Williams and Clint Capa for this one, while the Heat have listed Bam Adebayo, Duane Dedman, Markeith Morris and PJ Tucker as questionable. The Hawks need to bounce back with a win here to have any chance at winning this series and they'll surely get a better performance from Young who was terrible in Game 1. But the loss of Capla is massive and they just don't have the troops to hang with the Heat who are especially tough to beat when Robinson gets hot like he did. The Atlanta Hawks should be better this time around as they have more time to prepare and they're one of the better offenses in the league, so shooting under 40% probably isn't going to happen again. However, the Hawks were also bad on the road this season both straight up and against the spread, where they're now 14-28 against the number. The Hawks are also terrible defensively, and they're going up against a Heat team that's shooting 51.6% from the field and 45.9% from three in their last five games. While the Hawks should play better, I'm not sure the result is going to be all that different. The Hawks are only 1-6 against the spread in the last seven meetings in Miami, and I believe that trend continues here as the Heat go up 2-0 in the series. So the Miami Heat to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Game 1 went under the total because the Hawks rested many of their starters, including Trey Young in the fourth quarter. Miami's offense was great and that's the part that I will back to continue. Not necessarily the Heat to continue to shoot 47% from three-point range, but that they can score against a bad Hawks defense. The Heat also took their foot off the gas pedal in the last quarter. The final score may have contributed to this depressed total, but the box score says different. Combine that with just eight points from Young against this tough Heat defense and the public may like the under. But I'm going to play the over, banking on the fact that the Hawks' offense should be back to normal and get back above 100 points, while counting on Miami being able to duplicate their Game 1 offensive performance. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Minnesota Timberwolves vs Memphis Grizzlies The Minnesota Timberwolves and Memphis Grizzlies continue their first-round Western Conference playoff series with a Game 2 showdown at the FedEx Forum on Tuesday evening. Minnesota stunned Memphis with a 130-117 Game 1 win as 6.5 points underdogs. The Grizzlies hope to get back on track and avoid an 0-2 hole heading back to Minnesota. The good sign for Memphis heading into Game 2 is that Minnesota should cool down from the outside, as it would be very difficult for them to repeat that performance in a hostile environment, especially now that the Grizzlies will be more prepared defensively. In addition, the Grizzlies ranked second in points per game, right behind the Timberwolves, so they have the ability to win a high-scoring game as well and should get some more contributions from players not named Yamorant. The Memphis Grizzlies have been one of the better teams in the league, both straight up and against the spread so I wouldn't let one game scare you away. The Grizzlies win at home by an average of 9 points, and they're 27-15 against the spread at home. With that said, the Minnesota Timberwolves have shown us time and time again this season that they're not scared of anybody, and that confidence is growing with this young team. The Grizzlies probably bounce back and get the win, but this feels like too many points to give Minnesota a young, talented team that feels like it's capable of taking that next step. Although this feels like a near-must-win game for Memphis to avoid going down 2-0 in the series while also losing home court advantage, the Timberwolves have the firepower to keep this game close, even if it doesn't result in an outright victory. This is simply too many points to be giving to a confident Minnesota team right now, 
as they have the offensive firepower to outscore any team or even crawl back from any potential deficits. So the Minnesota Timberwolves to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. These were the highest scoring teams in the NBA in terms of points per game during the regular season as the Timberwolves ranked first and the Grizzlies were right behind them in second. It's hard to envision the Timberwolves shooting as well from the perimeter in Game 2 as they did in Game 1, but they're playing with a ton of confidence and rhythm right now, so it's not out of the question if they do so again. Edwards and Towns were able to find easy scoring chances nearly every time up the floor and they should be able to do that again. On the other hand, Yamorant led the Grizzlies with 32 points but didn't have much help, most noticeably from Steven Adams who was held scoreless for the entire game. However, the role players for Memphis should bounce back in Game 2 and come in with a much better game plan offensively. After an extremely high-scoring game on Saturday night, look for that trend to continue in Game 2 on Tuesday. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. New Orleans Pelicans vs. Phoenix Suns Number 8 seed New Orleans will be looking to bounce back from a series opening loss when it faces top seeded Phoenix in Game 2 on Tuesday night. The Pelicans were unable to recover from a slow first half in what ended up being a 110-99 loss. Phoenix received a game-high 30 points from veteran point guard Chris Paul in Game 1. Phoenix proved how much better of a team they are. The Suns are now 4-1 against New Orleans this season, including Game 1, and have covered the 9.5-point spread in all four of their wins. Meanwhile, Phoenix this season shot 48.5% from the field which ranked first while shooting 36.4% from three. New Orleans, meanwhile, allows opponents to shoot 47.1% from the field and 36.5% from three. Along with that, in the opening game, Phoenix shot 53.8% from the field and 35.7% from three, which obviously is a concern for the Pelicans. The Pelicans did a nice job of staying in the contest with a 37-point explosion in the third quarter to cut a 23-point deficit to just seven points in the opening game, but they never truly threatened after scoring just 34 points in the first half. The Suns had all the answers in Game 1 and they will probably be disappointed that they didn't blow them out. The New Orleans Pelicans showed flashes that they could compete against the Suns in the opening game, but nothing was consistent and right when they get back in the game, the Suns would open things right back up. The Pelicans' defense has also been an issue lately, as they're allowing 50.8% shooting from the field and 41.6% from deep in their last five games. The Suns win by an average of nine points at home and in the favorite role. New Orleans' defense just isn't good enough against Phoenix, who has too many weapons. Along with that, Crowder should have a much better game which will help the Suns' offense and help cover the spread once again. The Pelicans are only 1-5 to five against the spread in the last six meetings overall and I believe that trend continues here as the Suns win easily to go up 2-0 in the series. So the Phoenix Suns to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. New Orleans will struggle to score points as the Suns' defense is very underrated and can pose a lot of problems for the Pelicans. In Game 1, they combined for 209 points while in 5 games, they averaged 223.8 ppg but that includes one game that was 131-115 to which is an outlier as 3 of 5 have gone under that number. Meanwhile, the New Orleans play at a pace of 99.7 which ranks 21st while the Suns play at a pace of 102 which ranks 9th. However, Phoenix will likely get out to an early lead and once that happens they will slow down the pace. The Suns were able to hold on at the end of Sunday's game, but they will be motivated on the defensive end of the court in this contest. They have gone under in each of their last six games, including each of their last five home games. New Orleans has gone under in 12 of its last 16 contests, including eight of its last 10 road contests. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.